what's up everyone, TJ here. I'm hanging out at Alta Lake in Whistler today, and in this video I wanted to highlight a few snowboards that I think would work really well for those of you guys that are just getting started out in snowboarding. Alright, so there are a few things I'll be looking out for in boards that are going to be better for beginners. First off is I'm looking for a board that does have a softer flex. That's going to make it easier to control, easier to maneuver, and it's just going to help you out as you're learning those fundamentals. I also think it's a good idea to be looking at more twin snowboards or twin-ish style boards. That's just going to be more versatile and it'll allow you to kind of try a lot of different things as you're figuring out what direction you want to take your snowboarding before you get something that's a little more specialized. And I also think it's a good idea to be looking at boards that come in at a good price. You don't really need to be spending a ton of money for your first snowboard, so I'm not going to be looking at those higher end snowboards with you guys just yet. Alright, I'll start bringing up some boards in no particular order. First off is the Capita Horror Scope. This guy is going to be a true twin, so it rides exactly the same in either direction. It's also going to have a soft, easy to control flex and it runs a flat to rocker profile. So it's gonna be a very predictable ride. It's not gonna be throwing any surprises at you with that flat profile between the feet, and that rocker in the tips is gonna to help to make the board a little bit more catch free. If you're looking for a comparable women specific option, check out the Capita Space Metal Fantasy Snowboard. Next, I'll talk about the Solomon Sight. So this guy is actually a directional twin. It does have just a bit of a setback stance, so that's gonna help with carving. If you find yourself in powder, it's also gonna help to give you a little bit more float. But like I said, it is just a little bit, so it's still gonna ride pretty much exactly the same in either direction. This guy is also gonna have a soft, easy to manage flex, and it runs a cam rock camber profile. So that's gonna be camber between your feet with the rocker and the tips. That camber is gonna offer a little bit more pop and stability for you, while the rocker and the tips is gonna to help to keep the ride nice and catch free. If you're looking for a similar women's option, check out the Solomon Lotus. Both of those boards are gonna come in right around 300, offering a really good value for a brand new snowboard in my opinion. I'd also recommend checking out the Battalion Disaster Snowboard. This one's a little bit different. It actually runs a full positive camber profile. So that's gonna be a little bit more stable. It's gonna offer a little bit more pop and just have a bit more of a precise feel. It'll also be a lot of fun to progress with as you start to ride more aggressively. But it is complemented with a nice soft flex so it's still very easy to control. And it has a proprietary technology that you'll only find on Battalion Snowboards and it's called Triple Base Technology. That means on the nose and tail, the base and edge of the snowboard are actually uplifted a little bit like this, helping to make the board really, really catch free. So even though this guy is full positive camber, it's probably the most catch free snowboard on the list. Next, let's talk about the GNU Carbon Credit Snowboard. This is one of my favorite snowboards for beginners and for progression because it packs in a lot of great tech at a really good price. This is gonna be a true twin snowboard with a nice soft flex and it runs a rocker dominant profile. That rocker is going to keep the board nice and catch free. It'll help float and powder a little bit if you find yourself on a powder day. And it's also going to help with turn initiation. And on that note, it does run an asymmetrical side cut as well. What that's going to do is just help you out with your heel side carves. It's going to make carving on your heel edge just a little bit easier. But the coolest tech in the board, in my opinion, is magnet traction. That's going to be a wavy side cut going down the edge of the snowboard. It's going to help to really bite down and grip on ice or hard snow. So you're not really ever gonna have to worry about slipping out or struggling for grip in variable terrain. And if you're looking for a similar women's option, I would check out the GNU Gloss snowboard. All right, the last snowboard I'm gonna bring up today is the Arbor Formula. This one is actually a directional twin as well, so it just has a little bit more nose than tail outside the contact points. It'll help offer more float and powder, but on a groomer or hard pack snow, it's gonna ride exactly the same in either direction. For the 18-19 season, the formula is actually offered in both rocker and camber versions, so you'll have your choice there. And it actually runs more of a medium flex. That's going to offer a little more stability for you. It's going to stand up to progression a little bit better as you start to ride more aggressively. But the best thing about the formula, in my opinion, is called Grip Tech. It's kind of similar to Magna Traction, where they just put a couple of bumps in the edge of the snowboard and they place them right under your feet. So it gives your feet extra grip on ice or hard snow or otherwise you might be slipping out. And it does make a big difference. It's definitely something to consider as you're looking at these boards. And the formula actually is one of the best values out there in my opinion. You get all that for right around 350. 
A similar women's option to the formula is going to be the Arbor Paparazzi. Alright guys, I hope this video helps to give you some good ideas as you're out there looking for a new snowboard this season. If you're doing any shopping online, I'm going to have all the boards I mentioned linked down in the description below. It's a great way to help to support the channel. Let me know any questions you have down in the comments as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video soon. Take care guys. Oh, what?